All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Seraki Sterlates with a special guest. Another Seraki, my sister Renee over there, the uh, film critic from the uh, great... Uh, from Art Voice. Oh, uh, Electric Shadows. She's a film critic from Art Voice, I believe. Yeah. And Mr. These are used to our store on Elmwood, didn't you? And well, Sanford Silverstein. Got, yeah, Sal San, San Silver. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sand Silver, Sand you know Silver. these two uh, people. I do. And you realize, of course, that Tim is a cold, introverted MRFer, and right. then you got the warm hearted person over here. You yes. like Renee better, right? But if you met no, their brother, I, I like them both. if you met Thank their you. brother, never met their brother, though. he would blow Sand these two off the map because both. you think she's warm and friendly. Ernie is so warm and friendly, he'll tug you yeah. in a bear grip. I have Ernie? encountered no he other does. members of he'll the Seraki family, the Seraki clan. But you want to, though, so, don't you? Yeah. What do you do. imagine Ernie likes in film? <laughs> if, he, if he if he embraces you like a bear, yeah. What what stereotype do I have? Don't stereotype people, Sanford. Now, can I make you feel awkward and uncomfortable during this episode? Probably Is it possible? Can, try, can I do I it? What if, if I do, I can still. Oh, I, we already told. We already said there's one verboten subject already. I can mention you said it would make you awkward uh, and uncomfortable. I think I could work. You can work through the verboten I subject. I don't think so, Renee. Can you work through it? Greg, do you like? Now, do, how do you feel when Ernie calls you lace? I love that. It's my favorite thing. Why don't anyone? Why doesn't anyone else call me Lace? Paul, start calling me Lace. No, Lace. I mean, do you really? I mean, because I. I love Lace that. I call him Key. <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> uh, key. I call you two Key too. Key. key. It is Key. Know. This show is called Key and Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. With Sand Silver. <laughs> now Sand Silver is pretty cool. Sanford, you didn't you didn't bother I with like Richard Wickham's birthday. Why was that? Because what the hell I had happened? No there, way of man? knowing when what, Richard, what Richard Wickham's birthday was. You had no way of knowing. No How way long? Of You've known him for six, six, seven months, right? You have no way of knowing. You might have asked for the more guy. Than six months. You might have asked the guy. We no way of knowing. If you've known him for six two or seven months, years. you could for years. That's right. Two Eleven. You years. met him. You met him two and a half years ago. But you have no way of knowing when his birthday is. What a bullshit comment. That. What a cop out. Did Richard know my birthday? No, he doesn't care about your birthday. <laughs> he doesn't give a damn about okay. it. Okay. He, he only cares about his birthday. <laughs> That's what he said on the, on the Facebook. Remember, Tim, he said, he said, when you I, said, Tim, you Facebook, Richard said, August 11th, you forgot me. And he said, <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, in a nutshell. <laughs> Richard, Richard, well, no, Richard who gives made a his, fuck Richard about made his sto Richard. this story it's first. He made this analogy about his mom, <laughs> sort of parallel about his mom not uh, having many visitors at, at her funeral. At her funeral, yeah. Right. Which is not the same thing as his birthday. It's a funeral or birthday or a big difference. And I didn't know where, I did not know where the story was leading. <laughs> yeah, who I did? No one. Was going. I thought it was going to be some sort of funny little. But it wasn't. It was a or? sad cry for help. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you did you see it, Sanford? Sanford, no. No. don't you follow I, these I, things? I, I no. saw Renee, the, Renee saw. I saw the post. Yeah. And. I, I was what was actually, your reason, Renee? I was afraid to touch it. You know, it was kind of like a hornet's nest. You were afraid to touch Richard's what? Post. The, oh, his post, right? You were afraid, I'm not to, afraid touch to touch his post. Anybody's post. You'll touch his post anytime, I'll right? Will you touch a post? Posts anytime. This is a Facebook uh, post I'm we're talking about. A Facebook about post. I want to yes. see people who This is nothing bad. It's a Facebook post. You will, you'll get there and type in, say something? I don't care. If I could, my computer crashed. Oh, you don't have all. That's your cop out. No Facebook, right? Of course. But that's legitimate. Oh, God. Now, Renee, you were packing at the time all day, October 25th. Is that correct? Packing what? You, you were packing something all day. So you couldn't packing. make. You couldn't get around to emailing or calling or texting. No, I mean I'm on August 26, he called you up and he sent you that bouquet of flowers and all that. Well, no, don't you think you reciprocate Richard two months later? Always sends me a really wonderful exactly. original card. Yeah, or a every ride year or, or a Breaking Bad. And or, you never think about him. And it's it's sometimes it's a little early. He never thinks about him. But. Sometimes uh, it's a little early, yeah. That's kind of a punk off. Yeah, I know. August twenty third, so I'm like, who? That's not meaningful. I know. Get well, the no, right date, Richard. You know, don't be don't be sending our bouquet of flowers and, and, and some champagne on August twenty fifth. It's not like it's that early, but yeah, but a little early, like at eleven fifty nine p.m. That's too early. I totally, I totally forgot. I saw the post and I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, what do I God. do now? Oh, I'm like, okay. and you didn't what want to touch do? that do post. I, do I do I address it? It's like a hornet's then, nest. Do I address it and then yeah. feed into this this kind of? I didn't know that what feeding it was. that Monica Maya oh, that monomaniacal this, craziness this, of Richard, right, where he's right, got to be all about him Renee, and him and him and Renee. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> Where are the people for me? <laughs> Renee, it's crying out to you to to, to be. 
And I thought, fucked well, with. What? Yeah, I know, I he didn't want you to be fucked with. Out, but then Renee. I thought, because well, when, when you fucked with him, he said, "I don't give a shit about your fucking exactly. birthday." Exactly. <laughs> that that was that kind of give and take that Facebook is meant for. He's, I know. He said, don't you "Your birthday has no meaning to me." <laughs> of course, I you know. <laughs> well, of course it doesn't. Why would he care about your birthday? We, you know, he doesn't even know your birthday. Yeah. It really has no meaning. It's zero meaning. Nobody gives a shit about. My Richard's birthday. known you for two and a half years. He's had a way to ask you about your birthday for two and a half years. Did he? No. Did he? No. So there no you go. That's interesting. The birthday. man who wants every friend. When is your birthday anyway? Come on. June, June 13th, 13th oh. 1964. Right after the Kennedy assassination. But I didn't That's know right. what the yeah. point was. Mm. If Richard wanted to like belittle those people. He wanted to belittle you, yes. Those, those, those eight out of 130 people said happy birthday. The 122 so are you, scum. Of course, That's you know, you. you've been championing the fact all evening that you are one of the... Well, because I wouldn't be bringing it up if I wasn't one of the eight, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Did Ron, everybody else think Ron Ron <laughs> Yeah, Ron April 25th. Ron Ron you know why? Because Richard lied to them. He lied to them like people do all the time. He lied. What about Gwen, or did she have to say something well, about Gwen, her? Gwen had a Tim, Tim now Gwen had a real excuse, Tim. <laughs> She's not like you, right? I was, yeah, I was. Gwen cool. was sitting at home. It was October 25th, and every she year. She had kids with her. She didn't and have her kids sick. with her. That's the, that's a, okay. no. She did not have her kids. It had nothing to do with her excuse. October twenty first. October twenty fifth. I, I meant to say twenty fifth. She's twenty fifth. She knows it's Richard's birthday. She always contacts him, and she always does. Happy birthday, Richard Wick. Like oh, Marilyn Monroe, really? right? She does videos really? of it, posters, yeah, okay. photos. She's a blonde bombshell. Okay. She does. Okay. She's like, Happy birthday, Richard. <laughs> Happy birthday. Ooh. You know, that's a cleavage thing and all that. But this <laughs> and this year she was going to do that, right? <laughs> As usual, and it, the weirdest thing happened. She, her friend was dying, so she got in the car and she started driving towards Toronto. And she had her cell phone with her, of course, but unfortunately she didn't have her phone number on it, so she couldn't call him, and then she had to go to Toronto. So that's why she missed out. And she couldn't call me or Paula because she lost her phone numbers in the last three weeks. So she didn't have those or Richard, so she couldn't uh, call him. So that's what the, that's, she had an excuse on, like, you. We didn't have any excuse. You were just sleeping all day. <laughs> you, <laughs> you already admitted much, that. Yeah, I pretty much slept through the day. Yeah, yeah. she had some real issues. And then you I know? checked it the next day. I go, oh my god, Richard's going off on a rant here. This is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he went crazy. I, he he I lost never, it. I was like, wow. Yeah. Well, he's the king of the castle. He can turn us off right now, you know. Uh -huh. He's right next to the button right now. He can just turn the, <laughs> Any second now, if we don't respect him, he can hit that button and we're out. We what, is what is this? What is this? Oh, that's the rulers. <laughs> is that the ruler of love? You mean we can go home? Sanford, this show is all about you and your love of movies. Let's talk about your love of movies. <laughs> okay. What do you imagine Tim and Renee like in movies? What kind of crazy things do you like? They probably, she probably likes splatter movies, right? Well, I know Renee's very, Nothing very, very like diverse you. in her taste. Yeah, it's mostly yeah. splatter. And you like horror movies. Oh, sure. Who doesn't? Because, Tim I likes mean, junk. I, I heard your horror, the, the horror thing that you guys did, which right. is really very cool. It was yeah, great. It was, was really cool. That. Electric well, Shadows is a great show. I don't know, I don't know show. Tim well enough Thank to you. know right. what your very taste good. in movies It's not like this show. I don't know Greg's. No, I, I know Greg and my wife. I don't know what it is. Crap. Richard doesn't know Greg's. He was trying to figure that out earlier. I have no idea what Greg's favorite movies are. He hated the King of Marvin Gardens, yet he likes He likes Loving Me or Terrence Malick or the hell that movie is. Roger and Me? What is it, Loving Me? Oh, To the Wonder? To the I, Wonder. I, I, yeah, I, I, to yeah. the Wonder is not like, not like that Greg, stupid uh, Rafelson movie. You try hard <laughs> no, to No, because it's the greatest film. I do not try hard to defy people's century. expectations. I try to give in to their expectations no, by don't. liking. No, you... I like, hey, aren't I supposed to like the Art House Wonder Terry Malick? Don't we all like Terry Malick? I love Terry Malick. You like Terry Malick. We all I like Terry Malick. Movie too, right. You know? So I love I mean, Terry Malick. Well, how is that going against expectations? I love Terry Malick. You love Terry Malick. You loved him all those 20 years when you were missing him. You were pining for the Fjords, but remember? But there's, there's other... Pining for the Fjords. What, what the hell is that? I, don't, I have no idea. Go ahead. I've heard no, that. After Days of Heaven, he didn't do a movie for After 20 years, you were waiting. You used to say, I love him. He's living in Austin. I don't know. I, I, I don't think He's living in Austin? You don't think so? What? What are you answering? I Well, you love Tree of Life. Well, that, why would I love To the Wonder if I like Tree of Life? How is that subverting expectations? I like Tree of, Tree of Life. To the Wonder is like a sequel, isn't it? Part two. It's part two. So why would if I already you already I like Tree of Life? How how is it subverting oh, if I like the sequel? It's like Ghostbusters two. You know that. Yeah, isn't it like I, Ghostbusters two? No. It's sort of a sequel. No. It is. He agrees with me. It's a total sequel. It's like Tree of Life. It's the exact next same generation. thing. You know, Ben Affleck is the Brad Pitt character older. Yeah. In, a, in time traveling. Tree of Life, He's next generation. time traveling, yeah. Right. Right? You no, thought that, Sanford, I, I, didn't you? I didn't really see it. Didn't that you pick way. it up that way? No. Now, you're the... I think a lot of people did. You're the second smartest of the four of us. No. Renee is the smartest. No, I... You're the second. I'm third. Tim's fourth. Sure. Yeah. 
Do you ever envy your I sister's really, brains? I don't even really rank anything. No, of course not. Like you Richard. Don't. You never ranked anything. No ranking. You've no done ranking. tons of ranking in your life, Tim. What have I ranked? You always are saying my you favorite five, my favorite five this, you my favorite five, this, my favorite five Velvet Underground Where? songs. You should always do that in the I've old days. I never do that on the Facebook. I've got not Facebook, writing, but you've though, done it a lot in your life. Now you've given it up. Is that what you're saying? Oh, no. So you're back on it. You do nah, rank. I don't do it anymore. Oh, you don't rank it anymore. I never did it to begin with. You used to always rank stuff. When? I just it, told you in the, in the 80s, 90s, and the 90s, and the 21st remember, century. I remember the 80s. How do I remember? I wasn't even, stoned all the time. The 80s. <laughs> Sam, you do it. You had a list of the. T uh, yeah, he had a list of, of his top hundred movies. You? I know, well, but just say don't there. write. You just say you don't write that things. Was, that was back in the eighties. No, <laughs> said the eighties. Yeah, it, it was in the nineties. And the I said the nineties also. It Look at the tape, the Renee. Let's roll back to that. I said eighties and nineties. No, but I know. But I have. Early 90s. Documented, handwritten. You have documented, handwritten evidence. And Sanford is always sending you all those lists, like my top five Japanese films. He even says one, two, you have top fifteen okay. Japanese I'm films. Not, I'm not dogmatic about it. I just yes, say you these are, are films you're I would recommend. Dogmatic. Those, you know. Oh come on, no. you're very dogmatic. It's all Kurosawa, 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 no, Kurosawa. Hi. Come on, that's dogmatic. You have to, you have that's to do what I Sanford. do. You know that. You have to do what I do. I have well, a top voice 100 from? of my top 10. That's stupid. And then I, I can don't change think that it up. I always tell you I don't think that's... I, think I don't that's, get a top 100. I always put that down. I have 100 things that I keep what? switching them out of top 10. You can't oh, have a I see top 100 of... That's crazy. They not they, really cycle. I just... Yeah, they're cycling, yeah. my whim. No, it's just cycling. It's a whim. Oh, my God. That's a lady thing. Cycling. It's capricious. Is that how you do it, Renee? You're I a lady. <laughs> You're a psycho? No, I don't cycle. You must cycle. Or how else you'll be here? You must be cycling. Or you're done with cycling. Yes. Because you're you're in the What's the it called? Cycling the, days are over. Don't you know more blood coming out of you? No. Wow. <laughs> Any blood coming out of you guys? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot at Tim's face here, Paula. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at his face. I mean, he has nothing to say. I don't even want to. Did she it. tell you when she stopped cycling? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Did she share that yeah. with you? It's like her brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, oh, this is, for, this is the put down there? Is that what you're saying? Guess I guess. So you guys are as close as I thought you were. I believe so. <laughs> Did she tell Ernie? Did she tell, you know, what did you do? I, Contact no, him in Vietnam know, and say the blood that, is over? That, that when the blood is over. Apparently really announces that, Greg. I don't know. So um, you're announcing it now. It's Racking Sterilize. That's good. When well, did it happen? You no, know, you figure when a person gets a certain age. I'm going to shut this down. <laughs> <laughs> are, these, are these controls here? Are these have nothing to do with Set anything? The controls with a hard way to Tim. Do you all think right. Tim is embarrassed by female sexuality? No, he loves female sexuality. Oh, we all do. We all scream for we all scream for ice cream. It's like it's like when you know how guys like uh, hot lesbians making out. Yeah, right, but you but never it's a find woman, <laughs> you never really give it. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you're, that's story. two different things, yeah. Well, you're not middle-aged, are you? You're kind of well, young. I am. You're kind of young, aren't right? you? Right. You're like 30-something, right? Like that show. Um, remember 30-something? Yeah, I do. Is that ranked in your favorite show, Sanford? 30-something? No. 30 no. no. <laughs> you like Van, Van Halen, but you don't like 30-something. Like Van, Van Halen. <laughs> this guy likes Van Halen. Yeah. Should he be allowed to sit at our table? Van Halen? Yeah, I love Come on, <laughs> am I right? This is ridiculous. Van Halen. What's wrong with Van Halen? Great. Oh, yeah, they are good. Yeah. You're right. Wolfgang's a great bass player, for one thing. He's an excellent bass player. at the Marine Midland Arena. Oh, that was a great arena. That HSBC oh, my God. What about the Ted Nolan situation? First Sanford, Niagara. Ted Nolan. You excited about that? No. You're not excited not about really. Ted Nolan? You know what I'm talking about? No. You know <laughs> 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 so obviously, you're not excited so, about it. How about the Pat LaFontaine situation? Uh, you excited about that? Uh, the Ted Black situation? No. The Terry Pagula situation? No. The, the Darcy Regeer situation? No. The Ron Ralston situation? No. See, you don't care about any of these situations? No. How about the Andy Kaufman situation? Do you care about that? Uh, well, you know, maybe he's not. Paul, dead. Paul, Andy Kaufman's still alive. I told you. Remember I told you alive. since I met you? Yes, yes. Why is he Andy Kaufman I told alive? Paula since he, he 1995 that Andy Kaufman's still alive, and she said, no, Greg. What happened? Am I right, Paula? It has been alleged that you said no all the time. I, he had a daughter he's still five alive. years You're after he was dead. Probably. So is this like the Rodriguez kind of thing? Yeah, he's out now. Yeah, he's out now. Fans, uh, no, not like Rodriguez. Of course, really, the big because fan. Andy yeah, really Jim Carrey. <laughs> I like Jim Carrey as, know. as you know, yeah, Andy better, Andy, better than Andy Kaufman. Andy yeah. a daughter. Well, yeah, you, you tell the story. No, you're right. Pop, you're right. Daughter pops up. Yeah, and says popped out that, the. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and wasn't he supposed to be somewhere? Yeah. in 1999. Yeah, yeah he, he was. Showed up. Yeah. And, and now he's back. And allegedly, and I told Paula for 29 years. I, I mean, I told, I thought for 29 years. I told her since 1995, for 18 years. She's always, no, no, Andy's not dead. And he's, oh no, he said Andy is dead. He's dead. He's not coming back. I told you, he's back. What do you think, Tim? Are you excited? No. Oh, you don't care. What do you think oh, about the Terry Pagula situation? 
<laughs> what? About Ted Nolan? Yeah, Ted Nolan. I was zoning out there. No, Ted Nolan's good. He's all right. He's one of you people. He's a, yeah, he's a He's native, one of you Native, native Americans. American. He is. Do you think and you're what? fully the, American um, since you're Native American? Or are you like partial tribe, Americans? I think. I don't know. Something are you like no, partial he, Americans, he, the two of you, because you're Native Americans? You're not real Americans. You're like partially American, right? Because you're like on the, on the reservation, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're not real full-blooded Americans. Right, you're, like, you're off say the reservation. What? I'm off the reservation? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you bleeding still or not? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. You're about. making me bleed. It. <laughs> I'm making you bleed. I don't know where this. You, is the going. Top, I'm just saying because you're not really fully fledged all American people. You know, all Americans like you know blonde hair, blue eyes, Aryan, right? Like like you. No. You're blonde hair, blue no. eyes. <laughs> No. No. You think Native Americans Aryan, are full with Americans? A name like Silverstein. Ted Nolan's a Native Island American, Hitler. Tim. Yeah, good. Well, he's probably good at hockey because it's like lacrosse. That's their national. Am I right? It's like lacrosse. The Indians invented hockey. Yes. Yeah, they invented it. That's right. And lacrosse. Sanford, and, uh, they invented hockey. What do you think and, of that? And figure huh? skating. Sanford and soccer. Yeah. That's right. Soccer. No, if you mean football. There's not such thing as soccer. Football. Okay. What is wrong Mr. with you today? Mr. Continental. I I I used to have to play there all the time, yeah. man. I, I played there a lot. Hey, there's another Continental reunion to hear. Oh. Christ, when oh, is that no, happening? So at the at the oh, ballroom again. When is that? Uh, oh. Ron Shu told me about it. Are you going to go with me? Is Jill organizing it? <laughs> Last time Jill organized Big it. You can't really. There's there. a lot of controversy. We can't talk Lots about that. Controversy. We're not allowed to speak yeah. about the Jill controversy. Oh, there's more than Jill. Believe way me. more than Jill. There's way more than people. We cannot speak Jill. about that. What's Jill's controversial about Jill? I just, just said we can't speak you, about I know, it. But what do you ask me for if I can't way. speak about what, it? About don't make me awkward and uncomfortable <laughs> when we're doing the show, <laughs> Sanford. I don't appreciate that one bit. I was what trying happened? to. Yeah, thanks a lot. No, it's, we can't talk can't about talk it. About can't it. you understand the words we can't talk about it? You keep both ask questions about it? We can't talk about it. Tim and I both say you both ask questions about it. Like what, what Tim and I said, no. We're we're the stars. Serecki stories. We say yeah. we can't talk about no, it. it. There's the, too many pe names involved. It goes too deep. It's too deep. It's like the cuts Kennedy across, assassination. The 50th many, anniversary is coming up. Yeah, cuts across too many different boundaries. 50th anniversary. Now, who did it? Was it Lee Harvey Oswald? That next week. Lee Harvey so, Oswald? Oh, yeah. Lee Harvey yes, Oswald? Did he do I it alone? Yeah, that's so easy. Alone? Oh, Why yeah. did his head go back then, Tim? Uh, because Why did his head go back like that at the a end? rock at him from the front. <laughs> oh, rock doesn't... <laughs> yeah, not a so gun. The Lee, not a Lee, had a, it, was one of, it was one of his... The bystanders said, oh, he's already got shot. Let's throw a brick at him. It was a big gust of wind came out from the airport. The blood started pouring off his head when he went back. What do you mean gust of wind? gust of wind took his head back. You know how he had those A gust of wind. What about, why is big the, why did his head go back and the blood gust splattered out? I mean, I was, gust of wind. I was down at that uh You at least to live there. I was, no, I went to visit the sixth floor. But you used to live there. there. I know, but I never, I never visited when I used to live there. Oh, well, but you did live I there, went, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you lived there, you didn't visit, but then you visited when you didn't live there? I, yeah. Well, I mean, what I was 80 miles away and I didn't have a car. <laughs> oh, yeah. We could have so got a bus or something. Dallas. I walked over to that book depository. And you didn't know? And you thought? And I said, yeah, you could have done it easily. Yeah. Oh, so you, you were up there on the sixth floor? I was up on the sixth floor. And there did was you a have a gun? Thing about the sixth floor. Yeah. The sixth floor museum. They said, no firearms allowed in the sixth, in the sixth uh, floor museum. But that's the whole point of it. It's I having know, firearms. It's like, I mean, that, they should allow you to shoot up there if you want. Like shooting range. It should be a shooting test. range. <laughs> that was too late. That sign was a little bit theory. too late. No firearms <laughs> Hi-yo! No yeah. firearms allowed in the sixth floor. I mean, floor, I mean what, you it. must love that JFK movie, right? Because it's a multicolored uh, melange of montage and, and wonderful acting. Did you Correct? say melange I'm not a big, not a yeah. big uh, what's Ed Asner's great friend. when he it's pistol whips cool. Jack Lemmon, right? You gotta love that. The guy from uh, Lou Grant, yeah, pistol whipping Jack Lemmon. Killed him in a lot, I'm not a big Oliver really Stone yeah, fan. I know, I know. You don't like that? You don't like Oliver Stone? I didn't say I didn't like him. I'm not a big fan. What? Not a big fan? Why don't you go back to Denver? What's wrong with you? Denver. What about you? Are you from Denver? Your favorite JFK movie is JFK? Oh, <laughs> My favorite JFK movie? Is it JFK your favorite JFK movie? No, it's the uh, Rob Lowe one that was just on. The oh, the Rob Lowe Netflix. one. Chicago. I love that one. No. That's great. The, there was a Rob Lowe movie on JFK. Oh, movie. he played um, Kennedy. Yeah. No. Rob Lowe played Kennedy? Yeah, on National Geographic. It was the highest. On uh, the National Geographic station? It was the highest rated show on National <laughs> no Geographic. Kidding. Rob and Lowe played Kennedy? Bill O'Reilly's book. Is Bill O'Reilly. Killing Kennedy? Oh, so Rob Lowe played. Wow. He's a good actor. You guys did not know that Rob Lowe... Bill O'Reilly? I now, have no idea. I think the most important Wait, thing i got to ask you, Sanford, because I am very disappointed by what happened at the, in the last month. You're very disappointed, I'm sure. Breaking Bad, what a horrible ending. Am I right? I didn't You're, like the ending. You were very disappointed. I was very disappointed. Tell me about it, because your favorite show of all time, and you were let down by yeah. stupid Vince Gilligan, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was he extremely was, right? disappointed. I, f I think the whole show felt very rushed. It was bullshit. I think they just tried to patch things together in an unconvincing way. And it also is the only episode of the entire show, in my opinion, that didn't have that mind-blowing, like, what the fuck did I just see? I didn't feel it that was way. bullshit. It was very predictable. It was really... I mean, you could have predicted it, really, when you get right yeah, down to I, it. I was disappointed. Do you feel like you're, you can't love the show? It. 
No, I don't feel like I can't love the can't show. Can't love the show anymore. But it's not done for Breaking me. Balls. But you said it's like an, to me, it's like an unfinished show. You, you know said it was I the greatest show of all about. time. I yeah, like I still and then pretty it can't be anymore that. because the it's like ending King Lear and, and you know These and just goes nowhere. That jump on the Breaking Band bandwagon. Yeah, I never got on. Jerks. Two or three. No, you didn't. You don't care. Into the series. Yeah. Either they binge watched it, which is yeah. That's what I did. Cliche. I'm one of these people you're talking about. What's wrong with that? Watch the binge watching. Why is binge watching bad? You put the bingers down? No. You've done a lot of binging in your life, as we well know. You, 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 you. You're famous for binging. Yeah, but it's your whole lifestyle is about binging. But I've been doing it before it was cool, obviously. But everything you've done your whole life has been binging, no matter what it is. Before, before everyone else does it, of course. But still, you, you've been a you, you, you were the original binger. Here's what you I'm were saying. binging back in the Here's 70s. What I'm Everyone's talking about she this. She wants to talk about breaking show. balls, though. The, yeah, they, they, like, good they, show. like they know something about it. They, 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 they don't. They have something vested in it. They don't. They followed it. No, they you know did. You bled it. You bled. <laughs> and they're they're like they're they're the newfound, you know, gurus on the show. And, and they, they don't have, know anything. They weren't there from the beginning. They came here. late to the party. You were there four years exactly. ago when it started. Seven years ago, but that's okay. Seven? It wasn't in 2006. 2007. Was it during it the writers? Well, if it was in seven. Yeah. It was still six years ago. Then this is 2013. Right now. It definitely wasn't we got, seven. We got three different answers. Here. It definitely wasn't seven. It was, it was during the writers' strike. You should have said it was seven. Was the writers' strike, strike was, wasn't that 08? The writers', writers strike was eight, so that's only five okay. years ago. Greg's so. saying thirteen. Five. You're saying seven. You're no, I'm saying, saying five. five. It, was, it was five years ago. Five. Two thousand eight. It's five. You just you don't even like the show. You've never seen it. I'll say two thousand. You ever seen it? I'm gonna look it up. You guys go on. Two thousand eight. Tim, it's up. Two thousand eight or nine. You can verify. Either eight or nine. Right. So you were really your whole life is kind of shattered. No, right? I was just disappointed you were like every week. What do you think of the first seven episodes? Were any of them good? Uh, yeah, they were fantastic. And then you thought the eighth was gonna be a magical trip because Vince well, Gilligan I mean, promised will, he was gonna do a will, magical no, thing, and not letting him down. I will say yeah. this, and, and anyone that's followed Vince Gilligan and has read the interviews and done the and followed the essays and everything, he said at the time that Ozymandias was the penultimate show. Yeah, was the best show. Was the best that usually is. Ever. The Panopolis Penopo- well, usually no, the best. Well, no, this was actually the third before the oh, last. Oh, it was, so, yeah. 2008, you were right. I said that originally, four years ago. 2013. Five. I said four years ago. So this is 13 right now. I said four years ago. And she said, no, it's seven you, years ago. You well, you can watch the tape later, can't you? The yeah, recording right, later, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but it would be five years ago but, if it was um, late. You know, I said it was nine. I mean, I, I, I believe that. Yeah. Okay, it's five. He's right. He, he, he IMDb, built himself yeah. he's into right. a corner where, and, and he knew it. And I mean, he yeah, he, that. but he always got out of there before. Yeah, no, that's true. The but, reason but, you loved it so much is he always got out of there. And geniusly, constantly. He said right. that, that, that Ozymandias was the best episode, and I believe it's the finest episode Should've of television ever. Should have stopped that. Well, he's got two more episodes to do. What's he going to do? That's gonna, horrifying. Yeah, well, no, what you do is you do a six six episodes. Look, then. someone dies. They have the funeral. Someone you got to bury him and you got to throw the dirt. You do out. not. You no, do I not. Was, I was expecting the show to end more like this. His baby has to die. You oh gotta yeah! Kill the kid. Kill the kid. He's and young. Kill his the baby's son, young. Kill his wife. Right. Jesse's head's chopped off. Well, right. That's satisfying. And, and it's he's all alone. Because it's like the end of Harry Curry. Money. He got his money and he's all alone. Yeah. It's, it's a Greek tragedy. Just like it's about, Corleone. What about it's, Lars von Trier? Like Corleone yeah. in three. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 his daughter gets killed. Yeah. In three. Yeah. What about Lars von Trier giving up control of nymphomaniacs? Five hours to. Uh, what does Lars von Trier have to do with the Breaking Bad? Well, what does the Godfather have to do with Breaking Balls? Because it's the same kind of ending where Corleone was left alone with his money, but his daughter was killed. He's saying his daughter should have oh, been killed. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. You don't he, follow Breaking Bad, so. No, I don't know no idea yeah, who his characters right. are. So no, you, you don't care. Yeah, I mean, he, he's You're more of a Dexter great, fan. Dexter, one of the great gangster yeah. Yeah. figures, yeah. I think. I will say that. Walter White, Dexter. I think, is but definitely it's really, in the pantheon. Should they end it on episode six, though, of the last half season? Should have six, right? Not eight. No, because I still think Ozymandias was... It didn't, you feel, don't know. It, it didn't feel finished. It's really hard for it, you to it say. Is a great, you're right. It's a great episode, but it did, it still didn't feel finished. It's even worse than The Sopranos, if it, if, this if, thing. I mean, it's worse. It was kind of unfinished. It is. It's, really, I, it's worse. I, I, oh, Vince Sopranos Gilligan's the really... Vince, the, the Gilligan, the no, Vince episode. Gilligan, he was saying all interviews, he's saying... Vince Gilligan, the country will, guy? Vince Gil, no, the guy from the uh, island. He from kept saying, I will not give anything up. I will not... Fuck it up! I will not. Everyone will be very satisfied. No one's satisfied. I haven't heard one I, Breaking Bad. I, I really fan. think if he had another five episodes to tell more of the narrative, and oh, you're I really giving him a cop out there. Oh, I really think he could have strung it out. And, and so he should have done thirteen episodes. Job. There was too much information. He too many loose ends to tie AMC up in too short a period eights, of time. Eights, eights. He, did yeah, he did negotiate for exactly eight. He did. I know. And, and he wanted seconds. more. He said, "Give me eight, and then give me the two sections for 2012." One year of thirteen episodes total, and he asked for more. He got three more. I know he did. And then what did he do with it? He painted himself into a corner. 
But he always, well, but he the whole point was he, was he always that, he painted himself in a corner and four. then he dragged himself out ingeniously yeah. well, I mean, every you, time. But at some point, you know, that the, the Chinese box has got to close. You've got to end, you know. Well, you, you could have ended it earlier, like episode five or six. Well, I or think more brilliantly. He could have. Or more brilliantly. Well, I really I think know. that I he mean, let you people down. I think, I think By sure. you I people, think, I mean I all you freaks. You're, 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 you're advocating for a more nihilistic. Yeah, he totally nihilistic. You want everyone to die with their heads cut off. You know, what you think is appropriate. That's what it's all about. To the tone of the series. But if you watch the series from the beginning to yeah, the end. Yeah, Sanford, if you, you watch know, from the beginning to end. You know end. that the tone in the beginning... No, no, I know, I know, but I'm just saying, you know that the we'll tone... We'll jump on a bandwagon. ...is not always... It wasn't... Where Richard go? Uh, it, it wasn't always it wasn't like Greek this, tragedy. This, this no, because he was that he was the, the teacher. He was the teacher. Made, he was a nice you know? guy teacher. It, 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 Mr. It's Chips. It's comical almost. It's almost slapstick. Yeah, it was slapstick at the beginning. It went along. Right, right, right. Not but, but really. It was a at, satire. If you look at the first three or the first three, even even the killing, the first killing is Sanford, almost I think slapstick. you understand this show like Renee does because so she's smarter. So, no, all I'm saying is that, that you know, for him to end it on this totally nihilistic... Uh, would have been um, good. You know, Nietzschean kind of, you They would have given you a nice cathartic Uberman, feeling, like Taxi Driver's you know, ending. Ending. Right? Um, I, yeah. Again, I don't, yeah, like I, Taxi I, Driver's I ending. I don't think it would have been true to its core either. It's just like a Travis Bickle at the end. Right. You, want, you don't want him to just go get into a car and then go flying off to, uh, you know, driving off to the south. I love south. the ending of Taxi Driver. But I mean, he, it's a bloodbath though. Before the the the, the drive with Sybil Sybil Shepherd, that's a that's right, a right, but that's a, a bloodbath. It was a happy ending. I know, but the bloodbath though he there was no. I mean, that I'm would be could, the bloodbath could be like everyone getting you know his family being dead and his wife being dead and you didn't do you jump on the bandwagon, Sanford, or were you there jump from the beginning? On, on the bandwagon, no. From I was 2008, there from day one, and it was by accident. I had no idea oh, it was what an the show was. I just sat there and turned it on, and it's I a fluke. Was, uh, I became mesmerized by it, and I never missed. But do you think you understand episode. it as fully as Renee Sraki does? I don't think so. I, I, I no, think I don't think so, so Tim. No, 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 no one can. Not, no one does as much as her because her, she does her homework. She does her homework. Do you do your homework, Sanford? <laughs> I just, she doesn't, I do she doesn't do, do homework. Your homework. She does. She does homework on the show. She missed. She writes papers on it. She missed a trivia question though. She did. Two thousand eight. Oh, she missed. He got that. <laughs> yeah, got this, that's right. He got the trivia. You said two thousand six yeah. originally. You said seven years ago. He said five. You said seven. It's on record. It's recorded. You were right. So you're the expert. She's not the expert. Any of our viewers have an answer? Just send a postcard. She must be that. a little muddled there in her knowledge of Brady's ass. So you were there from the first day. You're, North off North tonight, you're off their game tonight, Renee. Thank you. Yeah, she's off their game tonight, obviously, yeah. because she said seven, he said five. He was Plus, right. Plus, I had lots of turkey, so the trip to fan is probably Oh, you're blaming the trip to fan and your lack of knowledge of breaking bad? I don't no, think so. I'm blaming my cold, the trip to fan, and... I want some trip to. Do fan. you think you have better insight than the rest of the Breaking Bad Sounds fans, like, like Sanford, the, the, <laughs> jump, the bandwagon jumpers? <laughs> Anything because with trip sounds like a good No, I just, I, I, I don't. You think he's equal to you? <laughs> is, is his opinion valid? I want to talk about Nymphomaniac. This is my. Is his opinion session. valid? What's Nymphomaniac? About? It's a large Vince Fear movie. Is Let's he is he that. is he valid? His opinion is yes. it valid? It is an a opinion. Lot of, a lot of okay. You're valid. Your opinion's valid. Yeah. She's validated. validated. She's validated. Like for parking, you're okay I've now. Been I've I I you get your two dollars back. I, I too believe that the ending was tied up a little bit too neatly. I want to talk about Necrophiliac, Renee. Um, That's my favorite movie since Antichrist. I I, I or believe Melanch Melanchol that there had to be. Oh, you like Melancholia? Who no, doesn't? No. The end of the world. That's awesome. I love the end of the world. You like I the end of the world? The end giant. Of the world. Oh, you don't you see that picture? What's no. that? Who's in that one? Kristen Dunst. Kristen Dunst with um, uh, Kiefer, Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland, right? Kiefer Sutherland. Um, Tim Allen. Yes, Dylan Skarsgård. Tim Allen. Dana Carvey. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld was in it. Yeah, he played the Take comic deeds. relief. I don't know. You I didn't see it. the end of the world movie. I saw that Tom Hanks saw movie, it, right? Captain Phil. I saw it. It was How good. Was it? That was good. Did you see that, the acting at the end of the movie? Shit. What, what the acting? Yeah, what about his post-traumatic stress acting? That was oh, great. It was awful, Craig. Oh, you see, like I've that. heard both you don't ends follow of the cinema, do you? It sucks. It's really great. You don't follow it was, cinema anymore. I don't know what to make of it. Now, did anyone go to the Buffalo Dreams Film Festival? Any of them? I met Lloyd Kaufman. My you idol. Did, so yeah. did you go, go this to... This guy who, who influenced me to make my own movies. Like the big master oh. year. Did you go to Return of Newcomb High? Sanford, you're... Yeah, I did. Sanford, you're a film snob. You're a film expert. What do you think of Renee's performance in The Big Mess? Do you like her acting? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant acting. What do you think of Tim's acting in The Big Mess? 
Superb. Superb and brilliant. Those are good. Those are. And it's a film. In, no, film. In, impeccable. Impeccable and superb. And the direction was magnificent. Wow. Those are good compliments for us. I mean, you, you were great. You can do more acting now, Renee? Yeah. And I think you invented great. a new genre. What about you, genre. Tim? More acting? Uh, sure, world. why not? He thinks we invented a new genre with that movie. Oh, <laughs> we did. What's the genre? I, I expected it What's to be. What's the genre? I, I expected it to the, be another in, eight and a half based on your description, but yeah, I think it was no more eight and like, a half. It's ten and a half. It was more like a four and a half. It's eleven and a half. It was more like a postmodern. Like a two and a half. It was. Big uh, ten inch, eleven and a half like, record. It was a postmodern movie that you commented on your own work. It was more like an I know, it was genius. <laughs> you commented on the. Film. It was a footnote. Postmodern. It was postmodern. Comment asterisk. And was, Renee was superb and magnificent. And it he was, was a self-consciously was aware great. masterpiece. It was a masterpiece, and, they, and I allowed the two of them to be in it. But I directed them superbly. It was yeah. my direction that no, made Tim. Tim and Renee are novices to acting, but I directly you did. You I directed them in a superb you way. My motivation, you motivation, the backstory. I gave Renee the backstory. Yeah, yeah. She was I brought you in with those great actors, Louis Aronica Louis and Ken Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> no one's better at acting than Louis Aronica and Ken Vaughn. I mean, I gave those two kind of play to you. That was definitely giving you a softball to hit. Way at Chestnut Ridge too. Oh yeah, I said motherfucker, motherfucker, and the, the guy said, "Hey, my kids over here." I said, "Who gives a fuck, motherfucker?" Okay, that's it. We're done. Thanks, Sanford. Thanks Bye. for being here. Bye. Absolutely. Bye. Bye. Richard, we're done. Bye. Bye. Don't say anything. Don't say anything.